Welcome friend, this is the first draft of a rotating ball nut system we've got going on this CNC build. My first impression of this system was that it was going to work great. I've been hovering over there by the stop button and I definitely need to add that in because it's terrifying. This is just with one of the motors going as well. I've already driven it into the stop at the end which is a nice rubbery cushion so it just caused an error on the servo drive which reminds me that I need to add in some wiring so that when one servo drive errors they're all turned off in an emergency stop that's kind of wired into the emergency stop system apart from that there's one other big problem I'll show you now the pitch of the ball screw is 5 millimeters, and that means to get the gantry moving at a fair clip the ball nut's got to be rotating way too fast, the ball bearings inside will clatter and destroy themselves in short order at that speed. So yeah it was a mistake to get such a fine pitched ball screw. This is a cheap Chinese ball screw and to make matters worse it's bent about 1 millimeter out of true. So I think we'll be going backwards before we go forwards with this CNC build. Here's the homing switch though, which I'm pleased with. It's a design based off Dirks at 21st century woodworking. It uses a cheap pogo peg. I'll leave a link in the description to his video about it. I'll try and show you how the rotating ball nut mounting system goes together. It's just a bit of cast aluminium I melted ages ago and the shaft that goes onto the belt here is just a pipe welded to a flange and it's got the pulley mounted on it goes to a toothed belt which is a HTD5 I believe pitched belt the angular contact bearings I'm using here are arranged in a sort of opposing way so they tighten against each other they're actually quite large because they needed to fit over the 32mm ball screw. The servo motor sits on top and its mount is made from a scrap of old 4x4 box section steel with a plate welded onto the front. When these cheap Chinese ball screws arrived there was a complete change of design and we went for rotating ball nuts instead of the screws themselves. One because the screws weren't perfectly straight so they were going to whip lots and two the inertia. Let's take a look. When thinking about acceleration and deceleration, rotating mass becomes really important. The total rotating assembly here is just over a kilogram, whereas the monster screw is more like 15 kilograms, plus and minus a bit as I'm weighing the nut as well. Here's the other side of the x-axis. The ball nut on this side is very gritty and jamming, so next video is going to be taking that apart, cleaning up the ball nut, and hopefully putting it back together. Okay, thanks for watching. Get in touch in the comments below. Cheers.